The Great Outdoors Malpas project has been running now since the end of April and we've been organising a range of activities for people with different levels of mobility. So we've been running an introduction to beekeeping course, wildlife walks and bird watching groups and landscape painting courses. And at the moment, most of these courses are fully subscribed and so we hope to repeat them again in the near future. Today we've been really fortunate that the Bright Life project has been donated the free use of a narrowboat. We're going down the canal on a short trip where we hope to see some of the wildlife along the canal. So we've got eight people from the Bright Life project based around Malpas coming out today. We are also going to be joined by the ecologist from the Canal and Rivers Trust because we thought it would be really nice to have another external expert who can point things out to the people en route. Being outdoors really helps to reconnect people with nature. The ability to get out again, uh, be physically active and also doing it in a social environment. It's not just going out for themselves, but they actually get out and meet other people. I'm rediscovering um, things that I loved as a youngster, just to appreciate everything that is around. It's important because you're meeting so many people, having new experiences and also encouraged to talk about things that you like and things that you appreciate. It is important to, to join these things because you meet new people and you obviously do things that you probably wouldn't have done. A photography course for instance that I'm on, I probably would never have done that if I hadn't had this opportunity offered by Cheshire Wildlife. It's not just going out for themselves, but they actually get out and meet other people. People they may not otherwise have met. People that have common interests, that live in their local area, and hopefully some of the friendships made on those outings will then continue. And that will actually help not only their physical well-being, but their mental well-being, helping to reduce social isolation. a landscape painting course. The beauty of these courses is that Liz is very good at dealing with people who have never painted before. She's really encouraging. You don't have to have done any kind of artwork. Even if the last thing you did was at the school, come along and just have fun. A lot of these activities wouldn't be happening without the funding that's coming through Bright Life. And hopefully in the future, many of these people will show those benefits by having an improved quality of life. I was beginning to worry a bit as I got older, how I would make friends, but this is, this has solved that problem. It's just changed my life altogether. I would have loved to have gone to art school years ago. Everybody's very nice here and it's an enjoyable time spent. It, it, it opens up new things for older people to get involved in. Half the group here have never painted, they've never touched collage, they've probably never cut up bubble wrap to stick on anything apart from wrap, um, wrap up. So I think everybody's got a creative process from when they're born. We very rarely get a chance to express that in a true creative form. When you're over 50, if you're retired, if you're working, it's a bit different, but you've become very isolated and with that isolation, um, your confidence goes. With groups like this, it's bringing people together. Creativity is a form of communication, it's a tool to communicate with. And they've enjoyed themselves, they'll come back and that's what this is all about really. It opened up a whole new world, uh, 
a much bigger world. It's good to learn it, isn't it? You're never too old to learn. And it's, it's uh, you know, made a gap in my life full, over full. There isn't enough time. I'm covered in bits of paint and there's a mess everywhere. It's not important. Having fun is important.